Ah, uh, yeah, hello. Is this the uh, German Baseball Federation? Oh, good. It's, uh, it's Aussie Villain. The Flamingos GM. The Berlin Flamingos? You think you've heard of them. Mate, we're in the playoffs. Anyway, I'm not looking to have an argument here. Uh, the reason I'm calling is I want to get a little bit of clarification as to exactly how this postseason works. Alright, so for example, if uh, if my Flamingos were to beat uh, the Hawks and Paderborn was to uh, lose to Mainz, that would mean that our series against Mainz would be 3-2, while the Paderborn and Hawks series would be 1-0. So would it be us and Mainz that go into the final, having won the most games, uh, or would it be Mainz and Paderborn because they've won their series? So basically, you don't know. All right. Yeah, I guess we will have to wait and see, won't we? Hi guys, I'm Ozzie and welcome to episode 17 of the Baseball Journeyman at the Berlin Flamingos. And today we're playing a playoff game in the German uh, Baseball Bundesliga against the Tuppergen Hawks. Uh, Mainz are playing Paderborn and I have no idea what happens at the end of this game. I don't know if, 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 if we both win, so it's 3-2 and that's only 1-0. Do we go through having had this weird combined... Playoff system with the most wins. Is it going to be Mites versus Paderborn? Do we go to a fourth game? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Nobody seems to know. Uh, I've, we've looked it up. There was uh, on Wikipedia. There was something of someone on the Discord. I forget who it was. So apologies. Uh, you'll know who you are. Uh, and it's I'm not in the comments. But anyway, the way this is working is nothing like it works in real life. In real life, it actually makes sense. Um, so yeah, we don't know what we're doing basically. Uh, so we're playing, we're playing Tapajin. Uh, Mites are playing Paderborn, and at some point at this episode, we'll find out if we're if we're through, if we're out, or if we have to play another game. Let's have a look at these lineups. And this is it. And these matchups do not look like they're going in our favor. Let's hope we can outperform those. So it's uh, Roshek leading us off, designated hitter. It's Drew Campbell batting second in left field. Byron Mills Jr. the catcher. He bats three. Bur uh, Leo Burra cleans up at second base. Peter Friedendorfer bats five at third base. David Reshek, uh, he bats six. Uh, he's at first base. A change in the lineup. Kevin Van Mensel comes in to bat seven and play in center field. Moving over to right field is the villain of game, whatever it was, against against Mites anyway. Um, he goes over to right field and bats eight. We've dropped uh, we've dropped Pride, who has yet to get a hit in the postseason. Thomas Pape, he bats nine. He's the shortstop. It's Vince Coletti. Chops takes the mound for us today. And we're up against Tyler Carr. And if you recognize the name... He was the horse's ass winner last season with an ERA of 12.15, despite being one of our foreign players. He's starting games for the Hawks and absolutely ripping it to shreds. Led their league in um, in wins, led the league in game starts. Whip of 116, war of 2.9, ERA plus of 207. Like, where was this for us last year, you moron? Anyway, let's hope we can take some revenge on him. But obviously, I really do fear he's going to take revenge on me for giving him the horse's ass. Well, anyway, let's get this show on the road. It's Vince Coletti on the mound for us. Let's hope he's finishing the season strong. So we're going to need another massive mammoth performance from him. Uh, we have had a change in our bullpen. Benninghoff is in the bullpen. And uh, Vidamir, Vidamir, what a way to start. An error by Burra from a regulation ground ball. Um... Yeah, he's uh, Vindermeer Meyer, I should say, is uh, in our he's out of the bullpen because we probably will need him, or we will need him to start if we do have to play a fourth game of the postseason. Uh, that is a single. It moves the runner that's only there because of an error on the second, and suddenly we look as though we're in a little bit of problems here. It's Braddon who is batting 143 in the postseason. Come on, chops, we need an out here, mate. That's popped up. Burra, two hands, mate. Two hands for beginners. There we go. That's one away. And it gives us a way out of the innings now if we can manage a double play. Kabina comes in the bat now, batting 286 this postseason. One and two's the count. Come on, Chop. Sitting down, mate. He does. That's huge. Two away. All right. A little bit of a slow start for Coletti, but he's back on form now. Lance Gordon comes in, batting 120. Look at their batting. This They're hitting this postseason for German, by German standards. is not good. Uh, anyway, Lance Gordon, one and one. Two out, two on. He has got it in to right field. How's your arm there? Uh, Vockel, can he stop the run from scoring? No, he can't. And the error has cost us a run in the top of the first. And it brings up another Burra, Lucas Burra. He's uh, yet to have a hit this postseason. One and two's the count. We really do need to end this. We do. And we do fall behind, though, on the back of the Leo Burra error at second base. And we try to get things underway with Roshek leading us off, batting 400 in the postseason. His contract is up at the end of this season. This could be the last time we see him 
in a Flamingo shirt. He's 37. I don't see a sense in renewing him. And he has fallen off the longer this season went as well. He's had a nice little resurgence uh, coming into the playoffs here. But he pops up. Drew Campbell comes in the bat, batting 286 in the postseason. Let's see what he can do. Come on, mate. He has grounded at the shortstop. Unfortunately, there's no error there, and that's two away. And it brings up Byron Mills Jr., who's only batting 222 in the postseason. Batted over 500 in the regular season, of course. And that is popped up, and that'll do it. And frustratingly, Tyler Carr looks like he's learned how to throw a baseball. We are 1-0 down after one, and it is Munns coming up now, batting 250 in the postseason to face Coletti. And it is a full count on the leadoff man, and he strikes him out. Excellent stuff, Chops. Excellent stuff. Eric McDermott comes in now. He's yet to have a he's yet to have a, a, a bat in the postseason. One and two is the count. And that is a ground ball there to Pape over to first. And we make that play look very, very simple. Two away. Helva comes in, batting 375 in the postseason. 0 oh and 1 is the count. Two out, no one on. That is a two-out single up the middle. Van Mensel is there, fields it, gets it in. The one thing we do lose in center field is Van Mensel is not as good as Vockel is, but he is a better bat. Full count. That is going to get through, is it? Leo Burr is there. He makes a play. Oh, he makes a really good play. He ends the innings. Excellent stuff, Leo. And that is the end of the top of the second. Let's see what Burr can do now with the bat. He's batting 375 in the postseason. It's going to be a first pitch swing. Come on, Leo. He has hit it well, but unfortunately straight to left field, and that is one away. Friedendorfer comes in now, batting 500 in the postseason. 0-2 is the count on him, though. Come on, Petey Boy. No, he strikes out. That is two away, and it's going to bring up Reischex now, who is batting 250 in the postseason. 0-2 is the count on him as well. Come on. No, nope, another strikeout, and it's so annoying to see Tyler Carr doing this. Now, maybe the one shining light here is Tyner leads them off uh, one for one today, and he walks, is that uh, he doesn't have good stamina. So we may not go deep into the game, and we could get into their bullpen, but obviously we need to be in the game at that point. Braddon comes in now, who's 0 for 1. 3 and 1's the count. Come on, Chops. That could be a double play. Bura over to uh, Pape, over to Rice Shirts. That cleans the bases. Two away. And... If Chops can get Kubina now, who's 0 for 1 today, then we can get ourselves out of this top of the third. 2 and 2's the count. 2 out, no one on. It's another strikeout for Chops. And it's only the error that has cost him a run so far. Well, it hasn't actually cost him a run. It's cost his team a run, though. Ven Mensel comes in now. He is It's his first at-bat in the postseason. It's his first at-bat for a little while. And he strikes out. He is, of course, an all-star, though, mysteriously. Vockel comes in now. He owes us for the error. He's batting 167 in the postseason. 2-0 is the count. Vockel! He's hit it really well. Right field goes back. Oh, it's a stunning catch. It's a stunning catch that robs him of extra bases. And Tonis Pape now with two outs. No one on. He's yet to have a hit this postseason. Well, he's got a hit now. Not the sort he was wanting for. Unfortunately, he's the slowest man alive. So he's unlikely to steal. But Roshek, Ro Roshek comes in. 0-2, oh and, and he watches strike three, and that'll do it for the third. We are still 1-0 down, That is still that error that costs us. Lance Gordon to lead them off. He is 1-for-1 one one today with that RBI as well. 1-0 is the count, and that is up the middle, and that is 2-for-2 two two now. It should just be a single as Van Mensel gets it in, and that is 1-on, one no one out for Burra, who is 0-for-1. Oh 1-and-2 one is the count. It's, he's hit him. He's put two on, no one out. Chops, come on, mate, come on. Munns comes in now. He's 0 for 1 today. 3 and 1 is the count. That should be caught out there by Vockel, but after last game, we don't take anything for granted. He does make the catch. 1 away, still runners at 1st and 2nd. Eric McDermott now, who's 0 for 1. Let's see what Chops can do with him. 0 oh, and 2 is the count. It's a strikeout for Chops. Is that 4 or 5 now he's struck out? He's looking good. Helva, who is 1 for 1, batting 444 in the postseason. A little bit less than that now as Chops gets another strikeout. And we are through the top of the fourth. It's Drew Campbell to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. Full count. Drew has... Oh, run, Drew. Run, mate. No. And that is 1 away. Brings up Byron Mills, who's 0 for 1 today. 1 and 2 is the count. Byron Mills Jr. strikes out. And the bats that got us here have gone very quiet, haven't they? Leo Bura, two out, no one on. 
And Bura strikes out as well. We are yet to get a hit off of our X pitcher. It is Felix Knapp to lead them off. He's 0 for 2 today. What can Chops do with him? 0 and 1 is the count that's popped up. That should be caught out there by Drew Campbell. Come on, mate. Get there. He does. That is one away. Coletti now to face Tyner, who is 1 for 1. He got. Did he get hit last time? He walked. I can't remember. He struck out this time, though. That's 2 away. And it brings up Braddon, who is 0 for 2. 2 and 1 is the count. 2 out, no one on. And that's a swinging bunt. It should be fieldable there by Pape over to first. That's a good play. And that ends the top of the fifth. All right. How is Campbell? He's only playing 47 pitches. Not Campbell. What's his name? Carr. Friedendorfer to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. Come on, Friedendorfer. 3 and 1. Can he get himself on base? He can. All right. Lead off man aboard. He's not the quickest. But Reischertz now, who is 0 and 1 today. What can he do? 1 and 0 is the count. 1 on. No one out. And it's a double play. Do you get the feeling it might not be our day today? Van Mensel comes in. He's 0 for 1. Come on, mate. Don't make me regret picking you. He strikes out. And we're through 5. And we are still 1-0 down. That is still that Leo Bura error that has cost us. Kabina comes in. He's 0 for 2. He's going to face Chops. Come on. That is a ground ball to Friedendorfer. Makes a good stop. Not a good throw. And it's an error. It's the second error of the game. And is it going to cost us a second run? Lead off man aboard, Lance Gordon. He's two for two today and looked good. He lays down a bunt. Can we get him at first? Can we get him at second? Oh, we can. Excellent play by Vince Coletti. Lead runner goes and Martinez comes in. Now, of course, he hit up, gave up a home run, didn't he, last time? Chops has done a good outing there, though. No owned runs. Uh, it's Burra coming in, who's 0 for 1. And we need Martinez to stop giving up home runs here. That's a strikeout. That's a way to lead it off, mate. Come on. He's going to face Munns now, who's 0 for 2. 2 and 2 is the count again. 2 out, 1 on. And it's another strikeout. He does owe us, doesn't he, for last game, giving up that home run. So let's hope he's going to have a big one for us. It's Vockel to lead us off now. He's 0 for 1 today to face Carr. Full count. Can he get himself on base? Vockel. Has he gone even better? Set left field's going back. He can't go back far enough. Vockel. Makes up for his error last game. It's a solo home run, 408 feet. It's the first hit of the game for us as well, and it's gone and cleared the left field fence. Marcel Vockel. Go on, son. Now, Thomas Pape comes in. He is yet to get a hit this postseason. He did get, of course, get hit last uh, time up. That's a ground ball to shortstop. That'll be out at first. And it's going to be Roshek coming in now with one out, no one on. He's 0 for 2 today. What can he do? Roshek, he gets a good piece of that. That's going to drop in. And it's a one-out single for Roshek on what could be his last appearance for the Storks. Not the Storks. Who are we? The Flamingos. The first time I've called us the Storks, I think. Drew Campbell now with a runner at first. Is Roshek going to try and steal? No, but Drew Campbell strikes out. Two out, runner at first. Byron Mills Jr. 0 for 2 today. 2 and 1's the count. Mills Jr. grounds at the shortstop. Simple play at second. But we tie it up in the sixth. It's 1-1. One, one. And it is Martinez to continue to McDermott, who is 0 for 2 today. Full count on the leadoff man. Don't lose him, mate. Please don't lose him. He doesn't. He strikes him out. Excellent work, Martinez. Helber comes in now. He's 1 for 2 today. Another full count. Come on. We don't want to go too deep into this bullpen. And it's another strikeout. We'll just take our scoreless innings though, won't we? Felix Knapp comes in. He's 0 for 3. 2 out, no one on. 3 and 0 is the count and he walks him. The go-ahead run gets on base. Tyner comes up now. He is 1 for 2 today. Uh, 1 and 2 is the count. Oh, and Martinez strikes him out. And that'll do it for the top of the 7th. We stretch. Tied at 1. Leo Bura. He has an error that has cost us a run. Can he do like Vockel did and make it up? to us with the best possible way. No, he strikes out. And it is Almeida that comes in to pitch for them now. He still looks decent, doesn't he? Left-handed pitcher as well. ERA this regular season of 540, though. Negative war. Whip of 1.88. So let's hope he's not as good as his attributes suggest he is. Friedendorfer is going to have a first look at him. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a full count. No one on with one out. Come on, Friedendorfer. Get yourself on base, mate. Friedendorfer. No, he swings through. Strike three. Two away for Reischertz, who's 0 for 2 today. 2 and 2's the count. Come on, David. Please. 
Oh, he's got a piece of it. He's got it down the third baseline. It skips into left field. And that will be a two-out double for David Reichert. And it's going to be, is it Van Mensel up next? The mysterious all-star center fielder. Let's see if he can drive us into the lead here. The go-ahead run stands at second. He's 0 for 2. Come on, Kev. No, he strikes out. And we go to the 8th. Tied at 1. But into their bullpen. Martinez to continue to Braddon, who's 0 for 3. Martinez has done well. I had to open my big mouth. That's a leadoff single. And the go-ahead run is at first base. Martinez now to Kubana, who is 0 for 3. 0 and 2 is the count. And Martinez may have just gone a little bit too long here. Van Mensel is there. Is that going to score a run? I think it is, you know. Can we stop it at the plate? No, it's a triple. And did Martinez go one innings too long there? It's a triple. Run scores. Runner at third, obviously. No one out. Martinez to continue to Gordon. And this has to be a strikeout, doesn't it? It's a first pitch swing. We've walked him. Are we going to walk another one? Lucas Borra. 0 for 2 today. This would be a massive strike out. Then he gets it. All right. If we can get a double play now, we could still find a way to win this game. And it's going to be French fries. Oh, and the French fries is not good. Munz comes in. He's 0 for 3 today. Come on, Frenchy. 0 and 2. Oh, that's absolutely massive. French fries with a 3 pitch strikeout. And can he get McDermott to end this innings? He's 0 for 3 today. Come on, Frenchy. 2 and 1 to the count. 2 on, 2 out. Oh, and it is 3 1. An RBI single for Eric McDermott. We are 3 1 down now. And it's Helbert with 2 out. Runners at first and second. He's 1 for 3 today. Make that 2 for 4. And can Vockel stop the run coming in? He can, but loaded bases. French fries to Nap, who's 0 for 3. Come on, Frenchie, you need an out. It's a full count. Two on, load, two out, sorry, loaded bases. And he walks in another run. It's the bullpen that's been killing us all year, and it's doing it again. Tyner comes up now, 1 for 3. 2 and 2's the count. Loaded bases. That should be an easy out. Just go to your base at third. Why wouldn't you just go to third? Why would you throw it to second anyway? We get out of the innings, but we've given up three. We have two innings to find three runs. And it's Vockel, who hit the home run last time up to lead us off. One and two is the count. And Vockel gets a piece of it, but it's going to be caught out there in right field. And that is that. Tonis Pepe comes in now to face Almeida. A full count. Can he get this off on base? No, he cannot. And it's Roshak, who is one for three. Now, if Mainz beats Paderborn, we could well be done here. That's popped up by Roshak. Of course, we don't know. If Paderborn beats Mainz, do we go and play game four? Because we could still tie up against Mainz if we were to win the second game of this series. Braddon to lead them off against French Fries. And why French Fries are still on the mound, to be honest, I'm really not sure. That's been absolutely crushed. Down to left field there. And... You get the feeling we're not we're gonna need more than three runs in the ninth, don't you? Um Surely you bring Semi Gershon, try and keep us in this. Kabina now, who of course delivered the uh the triple last time up. We've walked him this time around. And it brings up Gordon, who is two for three today. Come on, Frenchie. First pitch swing. They've laid down a bunt. Is it a good one? It is. One away. Runners go to second and third. And we're going to have to walk this guy, aren't we? Lucas Bura, he's 0 for 3. 1 and 2, so count would be a massive strikeout if we can get it. He's popped it up. It's as good as a strikeout. The runners won't go anywhere. 2 away. And this is, becomes a massive, massive at-bat. It's Munz, who is 0 for 4. And Frenchy, you need to get this out, mate. 1 and 2 is the count. Please, Frenchy. It's a ground ball to Pape. Over to first, mate. Two hands, right shirt. All right. So we do get out of that innings. We need three runs in the bottom of the ninth. It's Drew Campbell to lead us off, who's 0 for 3 today. He's had a poor day by his standards. 2 and 2. Drew Campbell does get the leadoff single. Now, Drew Campbell is a free agent into this season as well. As yet, he is unwilling to negotiate a new deal, so it could be the last we see of him. It's Byron Mills Jr. now. Another one. Another star of the season that's had a poor day. 0 for 3. 2 and 2 is the count on him. And Byron Mills Jr. Oh, it's dipped in. It's dropped in. It looked good off the bat, but 
it's dropped out, and that is one away. Leo Burra now, another man who's had a horrible day. One and one's the count. Leo Burra smacks it into right field. Is that going to get Drew Campbell over to third? It's not. But the tying run comes to the plate, and it is Kyle Asher pinch hitting for Friedendorf. I'm not sure if I agree with this. Friedendorf was a threat to go deep, but anyway, it's Kyle Asher. One, two and one's the count. Asher has hit into a double play, and that could do it. We've lost, but is that season over? So yes, that is season over for the Berlin Flamingos. Paderborn did beat um, did beat Mainz as well, so they go into the final against Mainz. Now it's it's it's. I tell you what it is. It's not great, is what it is. But so what what uh, has actually happened here is the second game was actually the All Star game. So what's actually happened and. It, 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 it does annoy me the little the, the the lack of detail that's been put into the other leagues outside of Major League Baseball. If you're going to have them, do them properly. So we've had the All Star Game taking place the same time as that playoff game, which in itself is ridiculous. But then our players have actually played in two games at once. Um, so you know it's a little bit silly, isn't it? But Leo Burra got a game, uh, as did Drew Campbell, who got a hit, as did Van Mensel, who uh, got a hit as well. Um, so that's fantastic. And uh, if we look at the pitching, Vindermeyer got the start. Uh, Brenninghoff gave up eight runs in 1.1 innings work. And Byron Mills Jr. was the winning pitcher. So I bet he didn't expect that uh, when he got his all-star call up. <laughs> but there we go. So that's uh, that's what that second game was. So it was always going to be we had to win that one. If we had won it with Mites losing, I don't know what would have... I mean, we'll never know what would have happened, I suppose, now... Um, but because in theory, we both, well, not in theory, in practice, we both would have had two wins and two losses. They would have been tied at, um, well, Paderborn would have gone through 2-0, but I don't know what would have happened in our series, but it, maybe it goes to the best, the best regular season record, uh, in which case we would have got it because we were the, we had the better regular season record. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We've lost, it's season done, um, and we know what we need to do to strengthen. Let me know what you guys think. But the bullpen is just a glaring, glaring weakness, isn't it? We need to get strength in our bullpen um, so that once the starters go off the mound, we can, we, you know, we can, we can st compete with the very best teams. But that does it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed, that, if you have enjoyed this season, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We'll be back next time. We'll have our end of season awards, and then we'll play through the off season, and we will go all out to try and make sure that this team goes at least, we'll, we want to go a little bit better next season, don't we? And really, really be pushing um, to be crowned German champion. So until then, I've been Aussie Bell, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.